Pops and welcome back to my channel. For today's video, we're gonna be doing episode 2 for Let's Talk Hype. In case you missed the first episode, I filmed it a few months ago wherein I talk about the current hypes and I give you my opinions on them. Apologies in advance if you can hear construction, leaf sounds, or whatever sounds, and if you're new to this setup because construction outside is insane. Honestly, it's sakit sa ulo. But anyway, if you wanna know more about these hypes that I'm about to talk about, then please keep on watching. Most of the hypes I'm going to be talking about today are fashion related. Uh, sadly, not much in shows because I apologize I haven't had time to watch a series but it's going to be mostly fashion and just a little bit about food. To start off our fashion trend, the first one I have on my list um, are these chunky clips. So these are just an example, it's just a demo. There you go. So this is what it looks like and normally uh, fashion bloggers would wear it here where they would pin their hair here and here or something will even put more the more the merrier and some have chunky clips like the colorful neon ones and some have just basic gold ones like these I've owned this for a while now but I only got into wearing them just recently and honestly the trend is cute but the only thing I don't like about it is because I have a bigger face so when I put my hair back like that most of my face is seen but other than that it's a cute trend and it really brings back the 90s so yung mga clips na meron kayo nung kabataan nyo guys labas labas na lahat Everyone wears it now. It's a thing. It's a hit and guys people sell it for like 200 pesos a clip like it's insane at least back in your days It's cheap, you know, and I'm sure you can get cheaper ones in DV. That was your matching set pa. Shades so shades have been a trend for a while now I mean I have my own couple of shades that you've probably seen on my past videos or on my Instagram but the shades that I'm talking about are the ones that are like I'll just insert pictures here on the screen where it kind of looks like you're a motorcycle driver but you're kind of hip not to judge the people who bought it but Sunny's um, released the newest collection it's like a thousand pesos each will I spend a thousand pesos on trendy shades no not really um, do I, am I a fan of the shades no not really but I think you can make it work if you want to take a cool shot like retro shot do it like I think if you can pull it off do you honey just keep doing you but personally I'll just go with these shades just because they're more um, I know they're gonna last me a longer time they're gonna be with me till the end of the times I mean this this is a fad for sure I just tried it guys mura lang kasi to parang 2 for 150 kaya you know to jump into the bandwagon I gave it a shot but am I a fan of the motorcycle looking ones not so much, but if I see a picture of myself in it, guys, don't you dare judge. I give it a shot, but I'm not spending 1000 Maybe I borrow the friends, just saying. Next on my list, I don't have a prop of it because it is a general look. It is the monochromatic look. So a lot of models actually have been wearing monochromatic looks. If you're not familiar with monochromatic looks, it's when you wear just one color. Sometimes it's in different shades, but generally the color is there. And I must say, sobrang fan ako. Like, I love it that you can just wear all white, all black, all red. It makes you look tall, it makes you look skinny, it makes you look high fashion. And I suggest everyone gives it a go. Um, the only downside is that you have to think of what to wear. But other than that, it's so good. I am such a fan of the monochromatic look. Honestly, that makes you look like you're ready and you're always on the go. Next on my list for fashion uh, trends is actually, I have a prop of this. It's the off-stitch clothing. So off-stitch is when you can see the stitch. Malama. Like, kitang kita mo yung tahe. Hindi siya off-white, pero nakikita mo yung tahe. And this one I have is a skirt. But a lot of, um, a lot of stores have been making jackets, pants, tops, and it's so cute, honestly. If you can grab your hands on one, try it. Kasi sa picture, it really stands out. Kasi I feel like it kind of gives you a frame because it shows the stitch. So it kind of like emphasizes whatever body part it's on. I don't know. Like, it's cute. It looks like a drawing. It's a little bit more animated and I love it. Like, I'm not mad. I love this skirt also. It has pockets. I have this next item, but I can't find it. So you can't really blame me, but they're cycling shorts and yes, you wear them to exercise. Yes, you wear them when you're an athlete. Yes, you also wear it when you're into the whole trend thing. A lot of people wear that with like a big t-shirt and like a fanny pack or like a sweater and like chunky shoes. I think some people can pull it off and I think it's really, really cute. Plus, I'm sure it's so comfortable, but I guess, I don't know if it's everyone's you know cup of tea for me i would give it a try but i can't find my cycling shorts 
So for now, I'll just stick to leggings because the concept is kind of the same except it's shorter. Honestly, that was so fast. That was my last trend for fashion. Now moving on to food. So there are two things on my food list that are really big trends now in Manila. We have number one, actually they're both milk tea related, but number one we have milk tea soft served ice cream. So a lot of places have been creating milk tea in ice cream form. I love soft serve, I love milk tea, and I actually love this um, milk tea soft serve ice cream can. I tried one in a bazaar. I found it just a little bit too sweet, but I love the idea. I mean, it's cold, it's good, it's fattening, and it has pearls. So what's not to love, diba? Right? What's really not to love? I mean, it's a little more expensive than milk tea and it's smaller. But in terms of taste, it's good. In terms of creativity, it's great. Um, another milk tea related item that is a big trend is the brown sugar series. I'm sure all of you, if not most of you, have tried at least like tiger sugar, serenity. And then if you want a little healthy alternative, there's like soy yummy where they make their own taho. Milk tea. So it's good actually. I'm not sure if I'm a big fan of the brown sugar seeds. Kasi pinaganda lang yun. Arnibal yun besh. Arnibal yun sa loob ng like milk tea mo. But taho in milk tea is so good. Like taho is the best thing ever. One of the best Filipino comfort foods, honestly. And you put milk tea again, everyone's favorite drink. If not everyone, most, most people's favorite drink. So if you combine them, so good, but I love it. I mean, the trend is good. The hot milk tea, the Arniba one, I'm not so sure, but if you like it, great! Great! If you like it, I'm glad you do. I mean, it's a trend, and a lot of uh, companies are making it now, so if you can make your own too, that'd be much, much better. But anyway, I'm so surprised with how fast this video has gone. Honestly, I'm in love with the trends. I'm in love with this Let's Talk Hype series and giving my opinions on these things. <laughs> if you like this episode of Let's Talk Hypes, don't forget to give this video a thumbs up. Comment down below what other hypes you want me to talk about. I'm sure there are some that I've missed because there's a lot of trends now. But I can't wait to hear your opinions. Plus, don't forget to hit the subscribe button. It's here. And that notification bell right beside it to get notified when I post. Or if you're just ready for the full commitment. And I will see you again on Sunday for another video. Bye! Honey, if I want if I want it, I'm not gonna wait for it. Okay, wait, no. Just in the, the food aspect.